What's up, it's Destiny. Follow me on Instagram at ITSDS109 on all platforms. It's your boy Rico Red. Follow me on all platforms at R-I-C-O-R-E-D underscore. Yo, it's Matt Mark. Y'all follow me on all platforms at Matt Mark. Yo, it's Highland Star. Y'all can follow me on all social media platforms at Highland Star, H-Y-L-A-N-S-T-R-R. Shout out Wood Black Global Music, and we just jumped out the porch. Period. Yeah. Yeah, you pull the beat and fake, can't still be sliding in the street. Try to count me out, this shit ain't for one cut the industry. I'm a All right, today we got Wolfpack Global Music Group jumping off the porch with us today. What's happening? What's happening? For sure. How y'all feeling, man? Good. Um, I feel great. I had a good day. It's a pleasure to have y'all on the porch with us today, for sure. Thank you for having us. For sure. Thank you for having us. So, individually, why don't y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves? Who want to go first? Y'all want me to go first? Okay, I'm Destiny. Uh, I'm Destiny. Uh, I've been a recording artist for about a good year and some months. Uh, I'm from Southwest side of Atlanta, and I'm the girl of the group. Clearly, I'm the only one up here that's a girl. I just be chilling. They treat me like the bro, though. They don't treat me like a girl because I don't act like a girl. But yeah, that's who I am. For sure. I'm Highland Storm, the first <coughs> R&B singer signed to Wolfpack Global Music. I've been doing music since I was about 15 years old. Um, and yeah, man, I'm just shit to grind, you know? Create, create hits, you feel me? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Mad Mark. I've been rapping about two, three years. Shit, I'm from the west side of Atlanta. Same thing, signed the war pack. For sure. I'm Rico Red from the east side. I've been rapping for a couple of years. For sure. So welcome, y'all. How y'all feeling, man? What's up? Feeling good. Feeling good. Talk to yeah, yeah. Talk to us. So in y'all own words, how would y'all say 2021 was the year for y'all? 2021 was last year, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did that year go? That wasn't the pandemic year, though. I had a good year. I signed last year, November. I had a good year. That wasn't the pandemic. I thought we were them for a Just cut off all that money, bro. We were having a good year. We were having a good year, though. That's what I can remember. What about you, Adam? 2021 was an amazing year. I dropped two records, one of them with Top 20. Um, got 2.3 million views on my last single rounds. Make sure you go check that out. Um, but yeah, it was, I, 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 couldn't, I can't complain. My how 2021 was for you, gang? Man, I ain't gonna lie, 2021. That motherfucker was lit. For real. <laughs> for real. It was so much. I was lit for real though, but I say it was teachable too. I feel like I learned a lot last year. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. Tyson. Rico, how 2021 was for you? It was good. We got made a lot of money. Yeah. You know, I got signed a couple months ago. For sure. Y'all know the Eastside niggas gonna get the most money though. You already know how we come. Nah. I don't know about that. I don't know how the Eastside yeah. coming, man. They know how you coming. <laughs> so how would y'all say the lessons that y'all learned from 2021, y'all going to apply for 2022? Well, shit. Shit, standing on yeah, like, it. Exactly. Believing in it. They really? Yeah, you got to believe in everything, stand on it. For oh, sure. That's real. You exactly. had the best answer. Stand on it. So how did y'all individually get signed to Wolfpack? Everybody, I want y'all to tell y'all a different story because I know y'all's story ain't all the same. So we're going to start with you, Desmond. How did okay, you end up with so Wolfpack? I had been making music or whatever, but I wasn't signed or nothing to nobody. So I was going like in the Atlanta clubs, like strip clubs and shit. I was running my music by myself in DJ booths like all week. I be in Onyx, Magic, all type of shit. So you know, I ran into the big, big, you know who the big, big is and you know. So he was at Magic one night, I was playing my music. So I guess he had seen who I was with. I think that night I was with my manager at the moment. He like, this her song type shit. So I like, yeah, he wanted to meet with me. It took some time though. It took a couple months before I actually just made the decision though. But see, he wasn't, he wasn't letting up. Like, he was like, hell no, I gotta sign her type shit. So we finally did come to the conclusion and the decision and I signed. And that's what it was. That's all. Awesome. Rico, how about you? Shit, me, I ain't gonna lie. Like, shit, I was giving me some money and nothing like that. And got down my boy Dollar, man. I let him hear a song one day. He's like, well, you got a hit. And then Big was right there. I talked to Big. Big, Big believed in me and shit. Got a gun, like shit like that, really. That's all. 
How, how about you? So I, I actually got signed. So I was I was actually singing in the mall. You feel me? I ran into uh to A B and uh and Rick. Rick's exactly the person that got me my deal. Rico, I'm right here. Um so I sung to A B. Rico Rico was walking with A B. Rico took my contact down, stayed in contact with me for probably about six months. And then I was growing my fan base on Instagram. And then he was like, he Rick had called me, he was like, bro, it's trying to get you a deal. So he Rick introduced me to Gooch. Shout out Gooch. And then Gooch took me to the studio and I met the big dog. And then literally I signed a week later. That's crazy. And yeah. Mark, how about you? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, I was just getting some money, and I ended up in the studio, basically, and I ain't had shit else to spend my money on, but my mama and them, and the studio, so shit, I just kept doing it, honestly, because it was just something to be done, so shit, folk ended up liking it, it went up. Shit, and I got a call from Woodpeck. That's hard. That's too hard. After dropping Camilton, that was the single I had dropped on to be specific. That's too cold. So what do y'all feel y'all bring to the group specifically? Like Rico, what you feel that you bring to Woodpeck? It's something different. It ain't, like, just my shit, like my music is just all the way different. Like, mm -hmm. you can go either way with it. Like, slow, like, kind of like slow, but my shit melodic. Like rapping too, so mm, definitely all the way. Definitely, how about you? I'm me. I bring me to the table. Nah, um, I'm I'm a girl, but I don't rap like a girl. So I rap like a nigga, to be honest. How you rap like so, a nigga? I talk that real shit. Yeah. I don't rap like girls, like all that. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I just be on some other shit. Like I'm setting my own lane type yeah. shit. You're not um, coming with no feminist, that yeah, was like, you're coming with Yeah, like, I'm not coming with all that. Let's fuck all that type shit. I mean, I could do it, though. Yeah. I'm very versatile, but, see, I just, I set my own line. I'm, I'm a vibe, so that's what I bring. That's hard. Right. how about you? I'm just a real vocalist, man. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm one of the best vocalists of my generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like can't nobody sing better than me in my generation. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. So, I just bring them vocals, man. I bring the street. <laughs> I bring the street. No, definitely. I bring yeah. the street. Nah, for real though. I say just being real, I say when I say I bring the street, I mean like the black wolf type shit. You know how they say the black sheep, like the black wolf type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. How would y'all describe y'all labels moving? Versus a lot of these rap niggas we done seen, right? I know y'all done seen a lot of these niggas. I know y'all seen a lot of their deals. I know you seen a lot of their clicks, their labels. How would y'all describe Wolfpack's individuality and how y'all separate yourselves from the rest? That shit just, oh, you want to go? Honestly, Wolfpack a family, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? Like, like the big bro gonna like, really like mold you, you feel me? Like, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna take you from nothing to sun. Oh, like, like, for real. Like, he can, he can turn a rock into water. You feel me? Like, he's gonna show you how to go get this. Money. Exactly. Real. So he's gonna, he gonna really go put get you it. in a whole different you position know, in your he, life. And he ain't soft. He on honestly just he he believe gonna, in all of us. Like, he he, he pushed so. each and every one of us up here. Like, Even ooh, when we don't believe in ourselves, he, he believe in us. And he yeah. make us stand on it. Mm -hmm. How did it make y'all feel to know y'all got somebody like big in y'all corner? It's it good because a lot of these labels ain't like that. That's what like, I was exactly. yeah. just see you like a dollar sign. Big, big ain't on that. Like, he just, it's real. Like, it's genuine, too. So, it's, I just, it's different from the other labels. As far as I can see, these folks be hating their deals. I don't, I don't hate my deal. I don't wish I would never sign on none of that. For sure. So, now that y'all know that y'all got some real motivation and a solid support system behind y'all, how would y'all say that affects y'all music? Make me go hard. Yeah, I'm more confident. Yeah, confident. Way more confident. Grind, for real. Yeah. It just make you believe in yourself like a hundred percent more. Like exactly. It make you just want to be like, I can do whatever the fuck I put my mind to. So Rico, let's talk about this new single you got coming out on the 25th, man. Man, me and Cabin, yeah, yeah, we're going crazy. Club vibe. Hard in the club. Yeah, yeah, she got that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
What did the inspiration behind that single come from, man? Uh, I don't know. It came <laughs> from like shit. Tis really fucking with these hoes. Yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm like, man, she got that wet pussy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's how that shit came out. That's real. That's real. You know, when you be in that wet shit. Yeah. You know, thinking about that shit. Like, why she got that wet pussy? Straight up. I'm like that. Nah, y'all got to go get that one, man. Mm-hmm. So, Destiny, let's talk about your single that you got coming out on March 11th. Mm-hmm. My shit caught going in. So, this is really the first single I'm dropping with the label. So, I just... Really wanted to drop like an introduction song for myself, like shit, where I came from, how I made it out, the shit that I was in, like just some shit that's relatable to girls that's really like out here living, living their life for real, grinding. It's really just about going in and grinding. So what would you say the inspiration for your song came from? From just like real life situations, like people turning on you, motherfuckers like goddamn family turning on you, friends turning on you, shit like that. That's real. So Holland, let's talk about the single you got ready to come out on March 4th. You know what I'm saying? What the, you know, I'm going to let you just go ahead and tell the people what you got going on. So I got a new single dropping on March 4th, Me and Lil Baby Bad. You know, the inspiration of this record was, you know, just kind of bringing back that, that, that real R&B feel back to music. You feel me? Like, bringing back that T-Pain, I'm sprung. The Let Me Love You, Mario, Ray J, One Wish, like really bring it back that real R&B vibe. You feel me? Like, like I said, I don't feel like nobody in my generation can see me vocally, so I had to showcase that on the record. No, that's hard. So, so we all know that baby is signed to Wolfpack as well. For so. sure, for sure. How does that make y'all feel to know that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got access to one of the hottest niggas right now. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Not only that, he fucking with y'all in the sure, too, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So how did that make y'all feel? Shit, inspirational, yeah. you feel me? Like, he don't, he don't take no days off. He exactly. just, he just motivates you. He motivates all of us. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's, like, it's a, a shit, bigger picture to look at. Like, exactly. God. Being able to see that. Yeah. Ain't feel nobody like, tapping do that. So. How did that make y'all feel? Like, how would y'all describe y'all chemistry with baby? I mean, I, I knew him from gambling, really. Yeah. yeah. They said that nigga right. cold that night, nice, boy. Yeah, that's what, that's uh-huh. what we used to do. Man, that nigga might have beat me one day so bad in the studio. <laughs> he just beat me a couple months ago, him and Thug. <laughs> <laughs> he dog shit out of me. Damn. He being real. Yeah, that's that cool. Nigga, he, he gamble like me. We go, we go hard on the Yeah. Like, stop my bank off. That's hard. Mark, how would you describe working with Baby? I feel like it's something to pick from every time, like, something to learn, like. And what I mean, like, just as an artist, it's like looking at the, cause you know, we picture the shit in our head, exactly. but it's one thing to just be able to see it though. Even though, you know, another man's vision, a uh, road ain't your road, but you get what I'm saying though. Just being a bigger artist, like, especially on stage, like all them people in them motherfucker, that shit look crazy. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. So I feel, I feel like it's just inspiration. That's hard. All That's the way it. around. Since the last time you was here, you've been blowing up with that no vaccine record. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, that bit, that bit been going crazy. Hell yeah, yeah, that was that was something that's something that song it's a song out of the album. Album coming up, song out of the album. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. It's a group sure album or just your individual album? My individual album. What's the name of the album you go ahead and tell us now, man? Uh M-A-D. Matt. Name of the album, Mad. Mad is me. The album is me. That's hard. If you ain't illiterate, you can read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, how would you describe your chemistry and working relationship with Baby? I describe it as. Something to look at, a bigger picture, inspiration. Like, as far as, I didn't know him before the music. See what I'm saying? So, I ain't, every time I met him through the music and based out of music. So, like I said, inspiration, a bigger picture to look at. That's real. And last time you was here, Mark, you was blowing up with that No Vaccine single. Yes, sir. So, yes, talk sir. about that one. Yeah, I've been going crazy with that. I've been out, shit, I've been outside. <laughs> <laughs> I've been outside, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. But shit, that, that song got an album coming up. Got an album on, planning on dropping soon. March 25th, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, 
It's on the way. Stay tuned for that. It's on the way. So tell me about y'all creative process, right? Rico, walk us in the studio session with Rico, bro. What's going on? How I create my music? Yeah. Uh, it, I be, it be different vibes. Like, I, be, mm -hmm. I go by the beat. Mm -hmm. I got like, I got to really, really like the beat. And then I might play with the hood type shit. And go yeah. Like, like that, really. How would you describe your sound? I would describe my sound? Yeah. What you mean? Like, how would you describe your sound, fool? <laughs> like, you oh, know what I'm saying? I said earlier, like, it's just different. Yeah. Like, oh, my sound, like, I said, it's just different, like, melodic, rappy, it's different, really. So you be singing and you be rapping? Yeah. But you from the streets. Mm -hmm. So would you describe it as pain, or would you describe it as? I, I make some pain songs, but it ain't really, yeah. like, really, like, my shit really, like, for the whole, though. <laughs> love, hey, love you made the pussy. You made the booty yeah. and shit. You, you make, make party music. music. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's a player. I'm on some player shit. Yeah. Like, I'm a player. That's I'm real. Shit, I'm a player. For sure. So, Destiny, <laughs> how would you describe your creative process in the studio? It really just depends on the vibe, the day, what I'm, like, what I experience through the day. Um, my process be different, though. I listen to the beat. Sometimes I just go in there and just say what's on my mind, or I might just sit and, like, I write on my phone a lot, so I might sit and write a whole bunch of shit and then go in there and record it. It just depends. My sound like melodic too, like, or I can go straight rapping, or I can go, I go all type of different ways, like, as far as a female. Yeah. So how would you describe your sound? My sound is like melodic, rap, pain. It's a lot of pain though for girls. It's like relatable music for girls though. Like, for girls that's like in the streets and shit, like, on some shit like them. Like, like a ride away for a female or some shit like that. No cap for a female. That's right. That's some shit like that. And then I make other type shit, lit music too, like type music. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. That's real. Island, how about you? So my process of creating music, I go in the studio, I listen to, I listen to the beats. I, got, I gotta have the most fire beat. Like, I feel like the beat like really like puts me in the right direction of what I want to talk about in the record. And then I go in the booth, I start laying down melody, then I just, I just, I really just come off, come off of the head of what I've been going through in my life, or one of my friends' situations. I, I just something that has that inspired me, and I'll make a record off of that. And how I would describe my sound is, I'm just, I'm just a real R&B singer, bro. Like, I, I make music for the ladies. You feel me? Like, I'm a, I just, I really sing, like, sing, sing. You feel me? So. Well, that nigga been trying to stretch that the whole interview. Right, like, you, might well just say, you might as well just say it. You might as well say it. I'm trying to tell y'all, yeah. he can really do this for shit. Sure. He really say right. For sure. He said, but the bus I got down. Yeah. Got to. How about you, Mark? Walk us through your creative process in the studio. Shit. I just listen to beats. And then the one I like the most, I go in there. Just go out of fear. However I'm feeling with that beat, it could be that day. It could be just, you know, I really just go off a mood when it comes to my creative process. That's real. So I got a question for all y'all. Who the hardest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit, everybody do their own thing. We all the hardest. Shit, we all the hardest. We all the hardest. We all got our own lane, yeah, so it's yeah. not like no competition between yeah, us exactly. at all. None of us in the same lane. He got his own lane, That's he got his own shit, lane, he got That's his own lane, That's the real shit, though. That's the real shit I was just saying, though. That was wild. So what else y'all got going for 2022 and for the rest of y'all careers? What y'all see yourselves? Shit, I'm see, trying to be in at some shows, yeah. make it back ins, got them um, collaborations with people, all type of shit, tours, festivals this year, the summertime about to hit, videos dropping, all type of shit. I'm trying to be lit for the summer. For sure. Highland, how about you? Shit, dropping this single, getting ready to go for the tape, you feel me? Get ready to drop more tapes, get more successful, get go number one, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, Really had a real sold out shows, you feel me? Like, got a lot of goals. Work with a whole bunch of other artists, a whole bunch of shit. Mark, how about you? <laughs> I'm trying to go through the fucking roof. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get up out of here, I'm exactly. telling you. I'm coming through the hood in three Lamborghini trucks. All that type of shit. Everything. Right. I'm yeah, talking about yeah. one of them we drops can... some shit so hard, yeah. they're going to be like, damn, yeah. how he going to make some shit harder than that? I'm trying to come that hard. Right. And then oh, still really? make some shit harder than it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's real. Shit don't stop. Rico? Well, I'm just trying to get the hell, boy. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about. I'm trying to get up through that. Ain't no hoes. Oh, God. Time to be on the biggest. Yeah. My boy say he made music the for the hoes, boy. That's yeah. real. 
Wolfpack Global Music Group. It was a pleasure having y'all on the porch with us today. Any last words and shout outs? Shout out to Big. Shout out to Big. Yeah, shout out to all, sure. um, all the, the DJs. Whole Wolfpack. Sure. Producers, everybody everything. Everybody knew we didn't work with. Shout, shout out, out to all the, all the DJ, all the producer. Most definitely like to see everybody we don't work with. Yeah, yeah. Y'all sure. hey, folks back. stay tuned for all of it because we all about to drop. For sure. She yeah. about to go crazy. Back shout to back to back. Shout out to the game. Shout out to the game. Shout out to the game. Yeah, you pull the beat and fake. Can't still be sliding in the street. Try to count me out. This shit ain't gonna fuck with the industry. I'm gonna cause a feeling for a bitch to fuck.